Sam. Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. Sam, Sam. We're back at Roaring Run and we're going to do the Iron Ore Trail. Are you ready? Tell me. You ready? <coughs> yeah. Ready? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> okay. So I'm slowly building my YouTube channel and I just got a new phone. Hopefully the image looks better. It's the Samsung A20. Okay, it's not the fancy one, but hopefully the quality is a an improvement from my old phone which was a LG Stylo 4. I also have a surprise coming in the mail sometime next week. Hopefully you guys will love it. Most people come to Roaring Run to go see the falls and get wet. People don't really use the trail that much so I'm anticipating a lot of spider webs and probably a few down trees as well that haven't been cleared. So this is weird down there. It's hard to see on the camera, but it looks like a old access road or maybe a logging road This seems to be the trail, but then there's also this path up here So you got to be careful and pay attention and realize what the trail might be That's why you always look for trail markers. Yeah Sure enough, it was an access road. It's so they can get up here to these power lines So sometimes you've seen one mushroom, you've seen them all, but this one is absolutely huge. Look at that. That is huge, humongous. down there is absolutely packed but I'm the only one on this trail and honestly it's really nice I mean you get such different vibes being out here and you know that you're all alone and everything smells so good
of these flat spots, like really good for camping areas. Okay, we found some blue blazes and we're going to the hoop hole. We're not going to the upper loop this time. teeth marks and they're pulled they're pulled out away from the tree look at this that teeth marks it's kind of creepy fire pit. It's the first sign of humans I've seen since I lost sight of the parking lot. Okay, so I'm assuming that the hoop hole is a destination. And Google Maps says it's about a mile back that way. Uh, but Google Maps has been wrong before, so I'm just following the blue trail markers and seeing where it's going. I've already gone four miles. Uh, so I'm really not sure where this is going to lead to. Okay, so now the trail markers are yellow. And it says I'm still on the right path to the hoop hole. But this says hoop hole upper loop. So is it a destination or just a trail? five miles into it and I just saw a couple hiking the trail with their dog and they said I'm headed towards a parking lot so I guess it makes one big loop or something like that but that's not gonna be the case today we are going to hitch a ride back to our car at the other parking lot all right there's really bad glare so we started here at Roaring Run went all the way down we took a left thank goodness and we took another left, and now we're here at the parking lot. Now we just gotta hitch a ride back up to the Roaring Run parking lot. But look at this. Had I taken a right, we would still be on the trail. My goodness. So we actually took the short way, and it was like five and a half miles. girlfriend that can stick her thumb out while I hide just out of sight. We're more likely to get a ride that way. <laughs> this is our after action report. So the iron ore trail turned into the hoop hole trail. 
Now the hoop hole is not a swimming hole like I had hoped, but very long, challenging trail. Honestly, I would give this trail a nine out of 10. It's very, very clean because it was not very used at all, and you could tell. And um, I would say that if you're looking for a religious experience, then this trail would be in that category because you get a lot different vibes when, you, when you're out there and you know you're far away from anybody. And it's a pristine trail that's just perfectly preserved. And you can tell not a lot of people use it because there's, I don't know, moss like every two feet and there's no trash. And there surprisingly wasn't a lot of downed trees either, but there was tons of spider webs. But we managed and it was actually a pretty good experience. We was just a little bit tired by the time we got back to the end of it, so we uh, hitched a ride back here to Roaring Run parking lot, and this is where we ended. So instead of hiking another six miles back here, <laughs> yeah, we had to hitchhike, but we caught a ride with the older couple. They were really nice. So anyways, guys, just remember, don't take anything but photos and leave nothing but footsteps. Trailhead, signing off.